Hi, this is Daniel, and look what I found lying around on my hard disk drive, the uh, next uh, campaign episode of my Let's Play Together campaign. Um, I'm starting off with the actual results of the last battle, uh, because I accidentally showed the ones I had played against the AI, but it's um, comparatively equal actually. Um, yeah, it'll still win that battle pretty decisively. So, like in the center of the map around Kyoto, there's still some agent action going on, but I think most of the agents I have uh, gotten rid of by now. And I brought most of my priests into the center around the current capital. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to install uh, revolts around it. Um, there's still agents around here and as well as ninjas and the Ikuiki coming from the north there are still a problem so I really like to sabotage them to just um, keep them where they are in order to uh, have them first of all take um, attrition damage from the from the winter now and to stop them from marching on to Kyoto which I'm um, holding with the force I had in my last battle right now, and which is being supported or will be supported soon by this uh, large stack that I'm bringing to the front now, and which will very probably now reach it in time because I can just walk through all the way um, to the very uh, weakly defended provinces on the way. Again, I'm bringing in my priests as uh, defense both against the enemy agents and to incite revolts here. And that's actually one of the most powerful aspects of converting to Christianity, that inciting revolts is much easier against uh, the Buddhist factions than it is with Buddhist monks. Now there's a bit of Wako pirates still around, but that um, really doesn't concern me much. I um, still have to spend some time on it obviously and I am still bringing in some of my trade ships to the nodes just uh, for the heck of it really although I'm mainly concentrating uh, my efforts now on the center of the map to take Kyoto and um, I did prepare this invasion and I actually succeed in taking the uh, Ueseki home province Echigo um, yeah that's not before time really because uh, I've been trying to I've been forgetting this invasion for several turns now so yeah whatever now um, there's still a Shimatsu army around uh, but I'm trying to stop that with my ninja there while having my own army taking um, their own regions that they still have on Kyushu and as I said I don't really care that much about my ships anymore now I'm now that I'm the prevalent uh, force on the on the land still raiding parties around but again I have quite convincing size of stacks there now so I will be uh, trying to get off rid of the um, raiding parties and that should keep my rear safe and enable me to strengthen my position around Kyoto to care for more reinforcements and also I'll be starting to take the rebel provinces now that I have been converting with my priests. Um, now that I'm basically surrounded by Christian rebel provinces the only actual uh, enemy is coming from the north now, the Ikuiki, which uh, still have well, three or four like minor forces. So I'm still using my um, ninja there to keep them uh, at bay. The same with the Shimatsu there, and uh, again trying to build uh, churches everywhere just to convert all the provinces as fast as possible. But by now, really, um, there's no real danger to me left because, um, well, except the Takeda, who are bringing in a large stack to Echigo, and in the around the Kikawa and the Ikuiki, really don't 
have a reasonable uh, chance of winning against me now that I have my forces in place. So it's um, more or less just uh, playing down from a um, position of strength here. I don't even have to care about my income a lot. The uh, provinces on Kyushu, which might be in danger um, by the Shimatsu, are um, secured by a pretty high castle level, so I won't have a problem defending them, but uh, my ninja is doing a good job um, keeping them in place anyway. Getting rid of all my all the agents around, again, sabotaging armies. Sabotaged armies won't uh, be able to support other armies, so I'm, I can safely attack this large stack now, and I'm supported why he isn't. Um, yeah, this is really just consolidating the land that I have here and pushing back the Iku Iki. Won't be a problem at all here now, and I... Well, the battles are too, too much in my favor now to actually play them out as uh, drop-ins. If I would be playing purely against the AI, I might be play the, out those kind of battles in like the early to mid-game, where I'm still concerned um, about keeping my my forces. But at this point in time, really, and especially in Kyoto, the replenishment rate is so high that really everything you will lose is uh, gonna be restored in one or two turns maximum. So basically, I'm really just administrating my forces, reinforcements, and um, taking care of the revolts. Again, the attack hitter stack is coming. I forgot about the this uh, that this attack was coming. So I'm losing this, which is a pity, really, because I had been uh, looking forward to taking care of that. But this is too much endgame now to really care about it now. The advantage of uh, rebel provinces is that they will really never attack on their own, like a neighboring province, so you can keep them safely, basically guarding your flanks, and um, this is what I do here. All, all of my flanks really are by now not reachable by any actual opponent clan anymore. The problem uh, that I'm just playing out of reflex now is that um, I'm easily just taking all the uh, rebel provinces around me now by superior force. So kind of anticlimactically, I actually win the game. Okay, now I hope you had some fun watching me play this campaign and the drop-in battles. Um, I will be doing a similar project with the Fall of the Samurai campaign once it's out. Um, I'll be reusing the uh, enemies of Danyu Steam Group to organize those battles. Hope you join me then again. So until then, um, thanks for watching, comment, rest, subscribe. And see you in the fall of the samurai. The depths of the southern seas. We rule. I rule. The true master of Japan has been revealed. All men bow to me. Their mighty shogun. Our clan's greatness will be remembered. Its glory. It's power, a legacy to last 10,000 years.